Today in History, August 3, 1936. The black American athlete Jesse Owens ran the 100 meters in 10.3 seconds, thus setting a new world record at the Berlin Summer Olympics in 1936. He also set new Olympic and world records in the 200 meters at 20.7 seconds and in the long jump at 8.06 meters. This record, set by the black athlete who won four gold medals at the 1936 Olympics in Nazi Germany, dealt a severe blow to Hitler's theory of the Aryan race. Hitler was in attendance at the Olympic Stadium, but left following this great success. Leading proponents of social Darwinism, who imagined they could divide human beings into inferior and superior races on the basis of skull measurements, skin color, and height, established a supposed scientific foundation for a slaughter the like of which had seldom been seen before. Henry Fairfield Osborne, a leading racist and evolutionist anthropologist in the first half of the 20th century, and also director of the American Museum of Natural History, made comparisons between the races in a piece entitled The Evolution of Human Races and drew the following conclusion on the basis of no scientific evidence whatsoever. The standard of intelligence of the average adult black is equivalent to that of an 11-year-old member of Homo sapiens. The seeds of the racism that began being sown together with the theory of evolution in the mid-1800s began producing real results toward the mid-1900s. It manifested itself in its most violent form with National Socialism in Germany. Darwin's contemporary and a passionate devotee of the theory of evolution, Friedrich Nietzsche popularized such groundless concepts as Superman and the Master Race in Germany. Nazism was the inevitable result. Hitler made the theory of the so-called Aryan race national policy and left 40 million dead behind him. Deutsche Jugend, nach einem Jahr kann ich euch hier wieder begrüßen. In the eyes of the Koran, physical differences do not make people superior to one another. Superiority lies solely in the degree of one's faith. Mankind, we created you from a male and female, and made you into peoples and tribes so that you might come to know each other. The noblest among you in Allah's sight is the one with the most piety. Allah is all-knowing, all-aware. Our Prophet wasallam, also reveals in a hadith that superiority does not lie in race. From Abu Zar an, Rasulullah wasallam, said, Look, Abu Zar, it is certain that apart from the fact you are superior in piety, you are not better than red and black people.